All right, well, it's happened again. What, you ask? A biological man has won $35,000 after winning a women's cycling race in New Mexico. Austin Killips finished 89 seconds ahead of his closest competitor, a biological woman, to win the race. It is time now for The Other View. And joining us to discuss is Project 21 member Whitley Yates and Newsmax contributor Deneen Borelli. Great to have you both with us. Uh, Deneen, it just seems like, again, this keeps on happening. Happening. And anyone who speaks out against men being competing against biological women in sports seems to be canceled immediately. But I think it's just about let's be practical people. There are two sexes. Anyone with common sense should speak out and push back on us and not care about name calling and labels. It's, this comes down to reality. It's girls versus boys, men versus women. We all know that men are much more powerful and dominant than, than women are. And so uh, this isn't right for uh, the girl sports, especially when they're young and developing and working hard and training and wanting to succeed in whatever sport that they participate in to put a male figure in in the mix because it's just not right across the board. Yeah, and uh, Deneen, you mentioned, you know, practicality and common sense. Uh, so Whitney, uh, Whitley explained this to me. The New England Journal of Medicine, a major, the most premier, the premier medical journal, is now being criticized for publishing a paper which suggests that medical students be segregated by race. Now, the authors, doctors, and students at the University of California argue that this would allow students to discuss their own personal experiences without fear of repercussion. Whitley, I just think the best education should be the goal, not worrying about people's feelings getting hurt. Absolutely. Why would we want any type of discrimination or segregation within our medical field? That's something that Brown versus Board of Education has fought against. And we see time and time again, as more liberal institutions are pumping out liberal scholars, that they're pushing discrimination within not only the medical field, but how medicine is taught. I think it's completely asinine. And what we want are doctors that are knowledgeable, that are talented and able to do the work, and not doctors that were in some racial segregated school because of the color of their skin when they're all learning the exact same information that needs to be applied to patients and people equally. Yeah, Denise, it seems like we hear more and more instances of forced segregation, and it does seem like we're going back in time here. Why is this happening? Well, look, it's very divisive, and you have progressives trying to pit Americans against each other. This is more progressive, woke garbage. And skin color has absolutely nothing to do about anything. They're talking about doctors and nurses, medical school. If I'm in a hospital on an operating table, I want to make sure I get the best of the best. I don't care what color they are. Uh, it's a great point. And before we go, just want to get this in. Uh, listen to this. A federal judge has ruled that a Pennsylvania school district must allow an after-school Satan club to meet. Now, the judge writing that the Saucon Valley School District violated the club's free speech privileges by going back on that agreement that allowed them to meet on school grounds. The club is sponsored by the Satanic Temple. And Whitley, just going back to uh, what you referenced earlier, shouldn't schooling be about education as opposed to getting caught up in all of these things that simply don't make sense and may not be to students benefits just about Absolutely. 20 seconds we need, we need satan out of our schools okay um and society needs to push to have less satan out of our schools as we're watching students literally attack principals and teachers i think that it's demonic and we need to stay away from it let's stick to educating our kids and not indoctrinating them all right whitley yates Denine borelli always great having you here with me on the other view appreciate it